friends and welcome back to art class. I'm so happy that I've seen some of you guys in the building the past few weeks. It's been so nice. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited um, to be back here with you guys for another quarter. Um, I have a lot of fun things planned, so I hope you guys like today's lesson. Today's lesson, we are going to be talking about a special video game that I know a lot of you guys like to play. Among Us! So, oh, if you guys like Among Us, you're going to love today's lesson. I'm going to be teaching you guys today how to draw the Among Us characters. So, go ahead, grab a piece of paper and some coloring supplies. Um, I would definitely also grab a pencil for today. And come on back. I think you guys are going to love this project. For those of you who don't know what Among Us is, it is an app um, that you can get through the App Store and it is a space game where there are crewmates on a spaceship and then there's one imposter, imposter among them who is trying to shut down the spaceship and these Among Us characters have to figure out who it is. So we are going to be drawing them today. I hope you guys enjoy this project. Hi everyone, so for our Among Us art lesson today, I'm going to be using a piece of paper and a pencil to start, and then once we get into the coloring portion, I am going to be using colored pencils because we are going to be doing a little bit of blending today. So, to start off, you are going to choose which Among Us character you wanna draw. Now, there are a lot of different characters. You guys can look on your computers to see all the different kinds, but I am going to just draw a typical Among Us character character today for you guys. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to draw an oval in the middle of your paper. Now I want you to watch how I'm going to do it. I'm starting by drawing this side right here. And I'm just drawing a slight curve. And then I'm going to take it around. I'm going to make this side of the oval a little bit smaller than this side. And then I'm going to bring it back on that diagonal line right there. See, it's very, very slight, but this is crucial if you want to get the classic Among Us shape. So I am doing this in pencil just in case I need to erase anything. Like, see, I messed up this line a little bit right here. I'm going to erase and just draw back over it um, to make it how I want it to look. So there, now I have my first oval done. Once you guys have finished this first original oval, you can start moving on to your Among Us character's body. This is going to be the face shield if you haven't realized that yet. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come over from the larger side of that oval, about an inch, and I am just going to kind of draw a little mark there. So this is where I know how far to go out with my body. I'm also gonna draw a little mark a little bit inside of that oval. And then I'm going to be drawing a curve from here to here. Now you don't want it to go super high, so I'd recommend maybe about an, an inch above this mask as well. So I'm going to now connect those lines that I drew Like that, and see, I ended up actually bringing it over a little bit anyway. So I'm just gonna erase that little tick mark that I did, um, which is great because I'm using a pencil so I can do that. The next thing you're gonna do is you are going to draw this line straight down. Just like that. Now we need to move on to the rest of the body. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is draw a little curved line about here. 
this is telling you where the Among Us character's legs need to be. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like this line goes through the mask and I'm going to continue it on the other side and bring it down to the same length that I did this one. So now I have the bulk of the body kind of sketched out. So I'm ready to start adding it and putting it all together. To put it all together, the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a line down on this side of the um, this little curved line that we did. I need to connect these lines so you can connect them with a rounded shape at the bottom like I did, or you could do a square shape. And then on this side, I'm actually gonna, going to start in a little bit on that line and I'm gonna try to mimic that same shape I did on the other side. Now, this leg's a little bit bigger than this leg, but it's okay. It's a cartoon character, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now that I have this body sketched out, the next thing I need to do is I need to add his backpack, his or her backpack, I should say. So to do that, you're just going to draw a curved shape and then a straight line, and then you're gonna curve it back in. It kind of looks like a little pill, so a pill-shaped backpack. Now you can make your backpack a little bigger or smaller. I just chose to do mine this side. So now that you have this size, I'm sorry. So now that you have this sketched out, you can decide if you wanna put a crown on your Among Us character's head, one of the little baby Among Us. You could do a hat. Um, it's really up to you what you put on top of your character. I am going to do a crown so to do the crown, it's really simple. You just draw a line going diagonally out and then you're gonna draw three zigzags. So one, two, three. And then you are just going to bring that line back in. So now my Among Us character has a crown. Okay guys, so now the next thing that you're gonna do is you are going to get to color this. Now I'm going to teach you guys a special way how to color your Among Us characters so that they look super duper realistic. So Among Us characters have shading on them. So I'm going to do my character as a blue character, but I'm going to grab also this um, green blue color so that I can add a couple shades of blue. Now the lighter shades of blue go around the backpack right about there, so it would be this upper area, and they go around the body at a line about here. So if you just draw a curved line like this, this part would be a light blue and this would be a dark blue down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to fill those areas in with my lighter color. Now I'm still drawing very lightly um, in case I need to erase and with colored pencils erasing isn't super easy but it is possible if you draw really lightly and I'm also really not using a lot of pressure when I'm drawing because I want this to be a lighter blue so go ahead and pick your color that you're going to use and start with a lighter version of it so for example if you want to make your Among Us character yellow you won't be able to find a, a lighter version unless you have like a really light, light, like lemon lime yellow. So what you'll do is you'll just draw very lightly and it will end up coming out lighter. So for example, like see how I'm drawing really lightly? Well, if I start to draw really dark, see how that color gets a lot darker right there? So I'm just gonna try to stay light. Now I did it a little dark there and that's okay because that's on the edge. So it's sometimes if you do it a little bit darker around the edges, it'll give your um, drawing some more dimension and make it look like there's a shadow. So I'm just going now and filling everything in that I have outlined with this color. Okay, so now that I have done my lighter blue color, I'm going to move on to my darker blue. And my darker blue is going to go on the rest of the body area and the rest of the backpack area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this blue to fill in my character. And I'm also going to kind of go over that line where these colors meet just a little bit. Um, and that is going to help blend the colors just a bit. Thank you. 
And again, I'm using light pressure since I'm using two different colors and two different colored pencils. But if you are using the same colored pencil and just drawing lighter and darker, right now you would be using more pressure and drawing heavier with your hand to get a darker color out of that colored pencil. So go ahead now and work on that. And you guys can see I kind of messed up right here. I'm going to try to erase it. If it doesn't erase though completely, I'm not going to be super bothered by it because it's it's not going to come out completely because I was drawing a little heavy. So it's fine. And if you notice now, I'm actually drawing into that other color more than I thought I would. I think it's just making them blend a little bit better and it makes it seem like a more cohesive piece um, and that it all fits together a little bit better. So I'm liking how this looks. Um, I'm just drawing right through it because you can still see that lighter color obviously, but this is just making it look a little bit more like a real Among Us character. I'm also not being super um, cautious when I'm going around my out, um, outside lines because I am going to cut this out at the end. So I don't need to be so perfect about it, but if you aren't gonna cut it out, try your best to stay inside the lines. Okay, so now my blue Among Us character has been colored in the background, so it's time to move on to the face shield. The face shield has different shades of gray inside it, and unfortunately, I don't have a gray colored pencil, so I'm going to be using a black colored pencil, but I'm going to be drawing very lightly. So the first shape that you need to draw, and once again, I'm drawing extremely lightly because I'm trying to make it look gray, is a like kind of like big curved line in the middle of it. So I'm going to fill this area in with my black colored pencil. And as you see, it doesn't look black right now. It's looking more gray because I'm being very, very light with it. Now I'm not being extremely light because I am going to be trying to do an even lighter shade of gray in this area but I am being very cautious about how much pressure I use when I am coloring. Sometimes I like to turn my paper. I think it's a little bit easier to stay inside the lines and just to stay a bit neater. Okay, so once you have finished your first area of the mask, you're going to draw an oval shape inside the next area. Just like that. And in this side, in this inside of this oval, you are going to keep that white. So I am going to then come in with my pencil and I am being very, very light. Like I am barely touching the paper with my colored pencil because I know it could get pretty dark because I was already very light in this area. So, and I am just trying to do a very light wash of light gray with my black colored pencil. I 
Another idea of something you could do for this part is you could use just a normal pencil because normal pencils are gray when we write with them. And that way you could use a little bit more pressure than I am. But as you can see, I'm really trying to keep it nice and light. The last thing that I have to color is my crown. So the way I'm gonna color my crown is I'm going to kind of color in two sections. I'm gonna draw a line about halfway through the crown and then in this, or not even about halfway, just about one dent in. And I'm going to draw this area with a lot of force and a lot of pressure to get the yellow nice and dark. Once I fill that area in, I need to color the rest, but I'm actually going to be doing this a lot lighter just like this with very light pressure, just how I was doing the gray inside of the mask. And this is going to give me a lighter shade of yellow and it's gonna give me that nice shadow that you see on the Among Us players crowns when they're actually in the game. And it just gives it a more realistic look. And there, now I am done coloring. See how it looks like the crown is really shining now? That's what we want. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to outline everything with a black Sharpie. So I'm not gonna outline anything inside the mask or like inside here or this line that I drew. I'm just gonna outline the things that I drew with my pencil originally. So I'm gonna start with the mask and I'm being very careful and I'm even gonna turn my paper so that I don't mess up that line. Now, if you don't have a Sharpie at home, there's lots of other things you could use. You could use a black crayon or just a regular black Crayola marker or whatever brand of markers that you use. Um, it's really up to you. And also you don't have to do this stuff. I just like doing this stuff because I think it really helps to make the character pop out more. I wouldn't usually outline with a Sharpie when doing a realistic drawing, but with this sort of drawing, it really gives it that extra oomph that it needs to look like a character. Now it's really starting to come together, if you guys can see it. Um, once you start to outline it like this um because the players in the game are a little bit outlined so i'm even doing the crown just like this and it's starting to really look nice and then i can't forget about the backpack and again i'm turning my paper to get the best line that i can and there, now I am done with my Among Us character. I absolutely love how my Among Us character turned out today. He's definitely acting sus. Um, I love the crown. I think it just turned out super fun. I am going to um, link a sheet of different um, Among Us characters hats and little accessories that you can add to your character. Um, if you want to. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time working on your Among Us character today. Remember, you don't need to submit pictures into the Google Classroom and all of the classwork is located in the classwork section. So don't worry about the stream. Go to classwork, find the lessons and just get them done. I hope you guys had a wonderful time drawing your Among Us characters this week. Um, I know I had so much fun and I loved playing this game. So if you love playing this game, I really hope you liked this lesson. I'm so proud of you guys. You're doing a wonderful job and I can't wait to see you again next week.